Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, as usual, let us look at the price action in gold, US dollar, currency pairs. We look at the current trend of the price action and mark the present support and resistance levels from the daily time frame to 15 minutes time frame. So when we look at the economical events plan for today, today is Thursday, March 16. At 6 a.m. we have high impact news plan for Australian dollar related currency pairs. At 6 p.m. we have high impacting and medium impact news plan for US dollar related currency pairs. And at 6.45 p.m. we have multiple high impact news plan for euro related currency pairs. And at 7.15 p.m. we have high impact news plan for euro related currency pairs. So we can expect lots of volatilities in euro related currency pairs and US dollar related currency pairs. Let us begin with our gold analysis. I am in daily time frame now and I have already marked the support and resistance levels. So when we look at the price action in daily time frame, previously we have noticed a price action to go near to the resistance level of 1972. Then we have noticed a price action to make a double bottom and to again retrace to the retest on the previous resistance level of 1972 to 1958. This whole zone is going to be a strong resistance zone for the future price action in daily time frame. And as we already know, if the price action doesn't manage to break this resistance zone, we can expect a bearish side trend reversal to start in daily time frame. And when we look at the past price action, this whole zone is a very strong resistance zone. So it has to break this resistance zone in order to continue its bullish trend. And if the price action breaks this resistance level, next level of resistance is going to be the level of 2071. And when we look at the current trend of the price action, I'm connecting the lows of the past price action and the highs of the past price action. So for now, the trend of the price action is still in a bullish trend as long as it is trading within this bullish channel pattern. And only when the price action breaks this support level of 1842, we can expect a bearish side trend reversal to start in daily time frame. This is also going to be the next level of the past price action. So it has to break this next level in order to make a trend reversal on the bearish side. All this bullish side volatility started due to the bank uncertainty in US. Slowly this issue is also getting resolved, so we can expect a bearish side retracement to start in near time. This is only a temporary rally and if the price action breaks this support level of 1842, next level of support on the bearish side is going to be around 1789 or 1790 and 1723. So for now, the current trend of the price action is in a bullish trend as long as it is trading within this bullish channel pattern. But again, it is forming a double bottom pattern, which means once the price action completes this double bottom pattern, we can expect the trend reversal on the bearish side. But if the price action breaks this resistance line of the bullish channel pattern, it will be the start of the new bullish trend in daily time frame. So wait for the price action to bounce back from this resistance line or to bridge this resistance line in order to make a decision on the directional trade in daily time frame. Let us look at the price action in 4 hours time frame. I am in 4 hours time frame. In 4 hours time frame, I don't see any clear trend. It is only in a very strong bullish trend due to the bank uncertainty news. Once these bank issues are resolved, we can expect a bearish side retracement to start in 4 hours time frame also. For now, the current trend of the price action in 4 hours time frame is also in a bullish trend. And the immediate resistance is going to be between 1972 to 1958 and also we have the daily time frame resistance line running over here and the price action has to break this resistance zone and also this resistance line if the bullish trend needs to continue in 4 hours time frame also which means that we need to have a very strong bullish news for gold to continue trending in the bullish trend. So the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 4 hours time frame. Currently, the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1930 and support level of 1897. Once the price action breaks the support level of 1897, 
next level of support is going to be around 1855 and 1790. And on the bullish side, if the price action breaks a resistance level of 1930, next level of resistance is going to be around 1962, 2010 and 2069, which means that it has to break the resistance line of the daily time frame. And once the price action breaks this support line of the bullish channel pattern, we can expect the bearish right side trend reversal to start in 4 hours time frame also. For now, the current trend of the price action is still in a bullish trend in 4 hours time frame. Let us look at the price action in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame. For the hourly time frame, I am drawing a trend line or a support line connecting the lows of the past price action. And for now, the current trend of the price action is still in a bullish trend in hourly time frame also. And as long as the price action is trading above this trend line or the support line from the hourly time frame, we can expect the bullish trend to continue in hourly time frame. So the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in hourly time frame. Currently, the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1927 and support level of 1917. Once the price action breaks this resistance level of 1927 and trends on the bullish side retracement, the next level of resistance is going to be around 1937, 1951, 1968 and 1991. And if the price action bounces back from the resistance level of 1927 and bridges this immediate support level of 1917, on the bearish side, next level of support is going to be around 1905, which is also the trend line of the hourly time frame, which also confirms a trend reversal in the hourly time frame. And next level of support is going to be around 1885. Let us look at the price action in 30 minutes time. I am in 30 minutes time frame. And when we look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame also, we are noticing it to be in very nice bullish trend. And based on the past price action, this level had acted as a resistance level and presently also it has acted as a support level. So if the price action wants to make a bearish side trend reversal, it has to bridge this trend line or the support line from the 30 minutes time frame and then the trend line from the hourly time frame in order to fall further on the bearish side trend reversal. And looking at the current price action, we are noticing the price action to make a head and shoulder pattern. The confirmation on the trend reversal will come once the price action breaks this neck level of the head and shoulder pattern, which is going to be around 1916. Then we can expect it to retrace up to the trend line or the support line from the hourly time frame. These are all the smaller time frames. So higher time frame support level will be acting as a strong support for the smaller time frames or lower. So the price action in 30 minutes time frame is trading between the resistance level of 1926 and support level of 1918. Once the price action breaks this resistance level of 1926, next level of resistance is going to be around 1938 and 1952. And on the bearish side, if the price action breaks a support level of 1918, next level of support is going to be around 1911, 1906, 1900, 1895 and 1885. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for 15 minutes time frame. So currently the price action in 15 minutes time frame is on a sideways price action consolidating between the resistance level of 1922 and support level of 1913. If the price action breaks this resistance level of 1922 and continues its bullish side retracement, next level of resistance is going to be around 1913, 1942 and 1950. And on the bearish side, if the price action breaks this support level of 1913, next level of support is going to be around 1902, 1995 and 1885. Wait for the price action to give a direction breakout on the bullish side from the resistance level of 1930s to take a bullish side trade or wait for it to break the support level of 1910 in order to take trades on the bearish side. The price action is in a consolidation or a sideways price action within this resistance level and the support level. That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, 
press that like button to support my channel and share this video with your friends.